what is going on legionnaires welcome to the channel i'm mark and today i'm here with my first cgc unboxing for 2024 i know there's been a lot of hubbub going around about the certified grading company and all the scandals involved in them but uh, there's a lot of other videos you can check out for that today we're just going to be opening a package with some slabs in it checking out the grade and seeing what books came in if you want to see what's in there hit that thumbs up subscribe to the channel let's get it started <music> Huge shout out to the homies over at Big Time Collectibles. Check them out at their website. Follow them on all the social medias. And you can also find them on Whatnot. And if you need anything cleaner press, you can hit up my boy Justin over on Instagram. His link is in the description to all my videos. And a huge shout out to ABX Comics and Games, my local comic shop. A fantastic local store if you're looking for one. If you're just looking for like an online Facebook group, talking comics, tabletop gaming, they have that as well. Link is in the description. So let's get into it. I have my first CGC unboxing. And look at this wild packaging multiple size boxes in there so uh this was a purchase i made from a very trusted uh piece of the community i've got a good friend named beckerman likes comics who works closely with this place called 4c comics and it's the number four the letter c 4c comics and what that is it's the uh facebook group it's a youtube channel and they post up at comic shows and conventions and stuff. It's ran by a fellow by the name of Ken Carson. Good guy. And he is an art rep for numerous pros in the industry. So they run weekly shows where you can uh, purchase art from actual like pros that work at Marvel, DC, and veterans like Shooter and all kinds of stuff. And they have these pros on as guests regularly doing live art commissions all kinds of cool stuff but uh, not long ago he ran a live sale selling just books and slabs and all kinds of stuff like that and becker shared it out with the community and i went over there just to support the homie and everything and he was putting up some all, all kinds of crazy cool stuff stuff all through the ages like big boy books keys all kinds of cool stuff and it was going for great prices and I jumped on on these two books okay so it looks like he's got a slab in each box so packaged very well so i jumped on these two books I, I can't remember if i got them as a separate purchase or if they were purchased together all i know is i paid next to nothing for these books it was insanely cheap so i couldn't pass them up Oh, here's an invoice slip. Let's see. Let's see if it shows how much I paid, because it's been a while. Nope, that's just a shipping slip. But dude sent it DHL, it looks like. Can't imagine that was cheap. But uh, the sale was on Whatnot. I'm not a huge Whatnot guy. I'm not a huge anti-Whatnot guy. Uh, serves its purpose, its function. I'm kind of indifferent about it there's some good sellers on there there's countless crappy sellers on there i kind of lose my patience hanging out too long on whatnot so i typically only go over there when it's somebody that i know is doing something on it just to support and stuff like that and uh yeah man this is wrapped good i'm gonna pause this video and unwrap me so it doesn't take up all right, I got that all set up. That was that was a lot. That was a lot to unpack. It was packaged very well. Shout out to 4C Comics. So both slabs unpacked and ready to rock. Uh, the slabs look great. The books aren't shaking or nothing like that. And what we have here is a very, very important comic. If you're an incredible Hulk fan, this is from 1993. Story by Peter David. Art by George Perez. Cover by George Perez. This is the Incredible Hulk. Future Imperfect. Issue number one of two in the CGC 9.6. This features the first appearance of Maestro, 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 whatever. But uh, the futuristic Hulk who took over the world and everything. It was an iconic story. This is a must-have for any Hulk fan. I've got both issues. I also have both issues signed by George Perez. And now we've got both issues slabbed up. Fantastic stuff here. Very cool. 
So uh, I, it was like $50 for both of them. I got both of these books that I'm about to show you for 50 bucks. And this book right here, this one by itself, I already have it pulled up here. Let's see. This book by itself, if you check cover price, Future Imperfect right there, goes for a whopping $38 raw. And it looks like 9.8s are going for about $102. And a 9.6 is at $76 last sell, 10.922. So already with just this one book, just this uh, just this one right here, it's already more, uh, worth more than I paid for it. Well worth it. So that was a massive score. And dude, this is just so awesome. George Perez's, the detail he puts on stuff and everything is just wild. I love that he did the artist signature like a, a billboard on the building, but it, it's it's super dope. I can't, can't say how much I love this story enough. It's just, uh, it's one of the good ones. If you haven't read it, you definitely should check it out the first chance that you get. So let's take a look at the next book that I picked up. So if that was number one, you can guess it. This is issue number two, same year, same credits. It does not feature the first appearance of Maestro, but it does feature his first cover appearance. So it's kind of like a, a pair cover, you know. They're embossed, they're highly detailed. But getting his first appearance and his first cover appearance. And this one's in a 9.8. So, like, to score the 9.8 and the 9.6, both for, like, $50, that's that's insane. That was a crazy deal. So, be sure to check out 4C and see what they got going on. Let's look at this. So, for this one, issue number two, it's actually trending up. Looks like a raw for this one goes for a little bit less. 9.8, it's got $62, last sold, 7 20 Highest known value is 149 So you're looking at uh, like like 150 bucks pretty much, and I got them for $50. So that's a crazy good deal. Definitely worth not passing up on. Glad that I picked them up. I'm sure I'll end up doing something with them. I don't picture myself keeping these in the PC. It's just two more slabs to keep up with. And uh, I've got plenty. I've got plenty. And having two copies of them raw already, I'm super happy with that. So these might go into the, the Legion loot, the channel member thing, or they might go up on Pop's Attic. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to figure it out, though, but leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you have you read Future Imperfect. Are you a fan of the Incredible Hulk? If not, definitely, definitely check it out. It's, it's one of those stories that stands the test of time. So much so that in recent years, over the past few years, Marvel has used it as some of their retro titles, how they do the little... Uh, throwback stories like miniseries set in like the 90s and stuff we've done three miniseries volumes following up and uh, leading up to the whole future and perfect story and they were all three really really well done peter david came back to write those stories as well I highly suggest checking those out like they need to collect it all into one volume with those three miniseries and future and perfect it's just it's very good comic book reading art is fantastic but very excited to have gotten those in. Big shout out to 4C. Be sure to give them a follow. Check them out on the social medias and stuff. They're more active on Facebook and YouTube. Again, if you're a fan of original art and stuff like that, that's really one of the uh, great resources we have for such a thing. So I appreciate everybody watching. Be sure to hit that thumbs up. If you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel, hitting that join button down below, becoming a channel member, and check out the merch store if you want to support the channel even farther. It's a great way to pick up some stuff in the process. I appreciate each and every one of you watching. And until next time, as always, I'm Mark, but we are Legion.